Good morning, everyone. My name is Carlos Medina, pronouns he, him, his, and I'm the Learning Services Manager at Catalyst of San Diego and Imperial Counties. And I am thrilled to welcome you all here. We have a hearty group today, so we won't have a chance to go through the room for introductions, but I would invite you to please um, just drop an introduction in the chat. Uh, you'll see you can include your, uh, please include your name, pronouns, and affiliation, because it'd be great to see who we're connecting with today. Additionally, I just want to share how thrilled Catalyst is to go host this session with our partners, the Claire Rose Foundation and the City of San Diego Commission for Arts and Cultures. This is a third in a six part series uh, that explores how investing in arts and culture can strengthen social and the economic fabric of our communities. And particularly today, we'll be honing in on health and wellness, which is an extremely relevant topic, recognizing that September is Suicide Awareness Prevention Month, an opportunity to spread hope and also information um, to people affected by a topic that's often stigmatized and taboo. But even more generally, it's an opportunity to look at mental health year round. And especially over the last couple of years, I think it's fair to say we can all benefit from pathways for healing and restoration. And so we'll explore some of those examples today from our esteemed panelists. But without much further ado, I'd like to hand the virtual mic over to Jonathan Gless, Executive Director for the San Diego Commission, City of San Diego Commission for Arts and Culture. Carlos, thank you. Welcome everybody. It is great to be here today. Um, before we get into the conversation, I think perhaps I need to turn the mic over to Megan Thomas, President and CEO of Catalyst. Megan, take it away. Thanks, Jonathan. Um, I don't need to hold the mic uh, amongst you many esteemed folks uh, for very long at all, but I'm happy to extend a warm welcome um, and echo Carlos's sentiments. This In philanthropy, a lot of times we're hearing you know, language about narrative change. Um, and I think that's just another way to talk about how we collectively experience society. Um, and the idea that arts and culture is pure entertainment is the notion that we're discarding today. Arts and culture is definitional. Arts and culture is who we are. It's how we express ourselves. It's how we communicate. It's how we build community. And I think we're really going to be able to get a sense today of what that looks like. Particularly, I would invite us all to take the frame of however you came into this space over the last 20 or 30 or 60 years, um, the, the culture that you bring with you is a culture. Uh, it does not mean it's the right culture. It does not mean it is the appropriate culture in all contexts. It simply means it's a part of our society. And so I'll be listening today with an ear for how do people self-define? How do people self-affirm? And how do people collectively build a sense of belonging for those around them? because that's really what gives us the strength to build towards a better future. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Thank you, Megan. This has been a really great partner, partnership, excuse me, uh, between Claire Rose Foundation and Catalyst. Um, as Carlos said, this is the third of a six part series um, where we're really digging into the intersection of arts and culture, and the other critical areas of civic life uh, in our communities here in San Diego, but across the country and across the world. Um, as Megan said, we know at the San Diego Commission for Arts and Culture, and I'll speak on behalf of my good friend and colleague, Matt Dorigo um, at Claire Rose Foundation, as well as Catalyst, that we don't have a robust, healthy, community or civic life if arts and culture is not in the center of it. Um, so we are elevating the importance of arts and culture in our community, but we also really want to dig into how arts and culture uh, advances the many challenges, well, excuse me, advances the work around the many challenges that we have uh, in our communities right now. That said, we are delighted to have three friends and colleagues with us today. 